Welcome back YouTube. In the last video we designed, printed, and cast this bronze spearhead. But we need a few things to finish it up, namely the shaft of the spear. But I also thought we would do something kind of cool and cast something else. And that would be a ferrule. If you're not familiar what a ferrule is, it's basically the spear butt. And here's a couple of examples of how they look from a simple one to a more intricate one. Now I opted to design a little more intricate one, closer to the second one I showed you. Uh, I added some symbols and stuff just to give it that extra little pop, and I think it actually came out pretty well. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Now that we got a design all set up, it was just printing it up, and here it is printed up, sprued up, and now we just gotta mix up our cake batter and get it invested. We're going to go ahead and use the leftover bronze from the spearhead. This is the main sprue and the ingot that we made.
here is our result. I'm actually really, really surprised. I didn't show you guys this. This was the third cast. And in the flask, when I did the burnout, I, I did get some cracking, but specifically this core, this piece that was supposed to be hollow all the way, I don't know, up to about here, broke off inside. It was rattling inside. And so I thought, well, you know, let's just cast it, whatever. I have it. I have the flask here. Let's see what we get. I was expecting nothing, really. I was expecting crap. And actually, we got something that I think is usable. It's not perfect, but... Uh, we do have the hole that now needs to be drilled, and I suspect what we'll find when we drill this is that there's a void space in here. What happened is that core floated up and, you know, stopped around here. And you could kind of see that during the pour where the, the metal kind of went in and then stopped, and then it sunk, and then I poured again, which, you know, isn't ideal. Um, but a lot of the detail did come out on the exterior. There's some finish issues a little bit, but, you know, it's not that bad. Well, it looks like we found the investment core right there. You can see the white in the middle of there. That's where the core floated up. And there it is with all the investment of that core cleaned out. It's a little off center. Well, a lot off center, really. Uh, but I think it'll do. We can make it work. I'm not going to cast it again. Like I said, this is the third time. So I just need to clean it up, get it all polished, and then work on the staff. Now we're going to finish this thing up, the shaft, with some boiled linseed oil. Just going to do simple, nothing too complicated here. Originally for attaching the spearhead to the shaft, I was going to do a bronze rivet and I actually had a piece that I was going to cast and I'll show you a clip of it here where it didn't come out when I cast the ferrule. So in an effort to get this project done, I'm just going to epoxy both ends on. I think that'll be fine. It's not as cool as having the bronze uh, kind of rivet right here, but it should work out just fine. I'm adding a little sawdust to help kind of match the wood if any of this uh, epoxy kind of squeezes out. It might not be necessary, but it also helps thicken it up uh, because it is a little, a little soupy. Alright guys, now for the real test. I wish I had a watermelon or some kind of uh, fruit, but I don't. I have a 2 liter bottle of Diet Coke left over from a party. I don't drink Diet Coke, so I think this is a pretty good use for it. Let's see how this thing does. being covered in Diet Coke right now. I think it went pretty damn good. You guys, thank you for joining me on this build. It looks like we got a kill shot for sure right in the middle there. I don't know if you can see that. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe and share this video. And I will see you guys next time.